You guys already know that I love matcha, but I've never really explained how I make it, so let's get into it. Matcha whisks are made of bamboo and they need to be soaked in water to soften the bristles before use. So what I do is while I set everything else up, I let my bamboo whisk sit in some hot water. Step two is to sift out two grams of matcha. Look, sifting your matcha is just like sifting flour when you're baking. You're just trying to get rid of all the clumps and make sure it's a fine powder like this. You also wanna make sure that you're using water that's 160 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise your matcha is gonna taste bitter and you might burn it. Add 35 grams of water to your matcha mixture and then we're going to use our bamboo whisk that's now softened to do three large circles to incorporate the matcha powder with the water and then do these zigzags until you form this nice crust on top now this is your matcha base and these are my three favorite ways to use it this is how i personally drink my matcha i add honey to my matcha mixture and fill it up with hot water option two is fancier it's a strawberry matcha so you'll add one strawberry one pump of vanilla to the bottom muddle it together add coconut milk ice and then your matcha on top drink three is a slept on drink it's a caramel matcha latte so add some caramel sauce to your matcha base add milk to a french press and froth it up like this this is for all my homies that don't have an espresso machine to steam milk you can do it just like this it's just as good you can make latte art and these are my three favorite ways to make matcha and how i personally drink it at home